This week's 19 things they don't teach in real estate school is a bit more of a fun topic for most people. And it's all about using social media in your real estate career. If you're not using social media because you're resisting, you're blaming it on age or whatever the case would be, you're totally missing out. And I would just encourage you to reconsider. Even if you're not wanting to utilize it to generate leads and post everywhere about new listings and open houses and being salesy and really utilizing it for that aspect of your real estate business, if nothing else, just use it for the sake of building and nurturing relationships. It's just a great way in this day and age to stay connected with your friends and the people that care about you and what's happening in their lives. But of course, there is a way to use it and a way not to use it. Don't be that friend and don't be that person that now that you're in the real estate business, every single thing on your profile page on Instagram and Facebook is all about real estate. Your friends are your friends with you because of who you are and the person you were prior to real estate. So they want to still know what's going on in your life and see the dog and the kids and the vacations, and all those wonderful things that you do. What I would recommend is a standard rule of thumb that for every three, maybe four posts you do, which are personal, you should now mix in a business post. So three to one, maybe four to one ratio from personal to business, not one to one. Most people do it the other way around where they're posting open houses and flooding the newsfeed with everything about real estate. And that may cause some people to either unfriend you or stop following you. And then they grow to be suspicious because when you do try to reach out to them, it's because they think you have an ulterior motive and you just want something. What we want to do is just nurture and be a friend and have real life, normal human conversations. Real estate will naturally come up for you and you'll find the appropriate time to insert something about real estate. And instead of them asking you, how are you? And you say, I'm great. How are you? You can respond with something like, I'm awesome. Here's why. I just launched my real estate career and I'm super excited this year. I got a goal to help 25 families upgrade their lifestyle and I know I can't do it alone. It would mean a lot to me that if you ever hear somebody looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, you put them in touch with me and then that's it. Nothing else. Now, also consider what story your social media is telling people about you. What are you telling potential clients of your profile pictures you holding a shotgun and a beer? Is that really the image and story you want to put out there when you're asking people to trust you with the largest investment of their life? I'm not saying don't be you. It's okay to have silly pictures out there, but you got to be smart about that as well. Who are the characters in your story and who are the people you're surrounding yourself with? What is the content you're posting? Is it all negative about the news and politics and the things that just rub people the wrong way? Again, I'm not asking you to be somebody you're not. What I'm asking you to do is be conscious and aware of how you're putting yourself out there. Be the person who's positive and uplifting, who's contributing to something of significance. That's what people are drawn to. There's enough followers out there in this world right now. We need more leaders. Be one. And so that's what I would encourage you to do. When you consider using social media, maybe you have a business page to keep all the business related stuff and community related stuff, and you keep your personal page personal. Totally up to you, but just keep all that in mind. We're just touching the surface though, but that really is what I wanna share with you about how you use your social media accounts and how they can be utilized in your business. So stay tuned for next week's episode about being learning-based and action-focused. Let's talk soon.